In this video, we'll be going over the mechanisms and products of the pinacle and semi-pinacle rearrangements. Beginning with the pinacle rearrangement, our starting material is a vicinal diol. Vicinal meaning neighboring and diol referring to the presence of two alcohols. Preferably, our starting material is one in which the carbon each alcohol group is bound to is tertiary, since this rearrangement occurs via carbocation intermediate. Here's our starting material. We'll call him Bob. Bob is tired of being a vicinal diol and wants to undergo some changes. Using some acid, either one of Bob's alcohols picks up a proton and subsequently leaves, producing a tertiary carbocation. In order to stabilize this, one of the bonds of the carbon holding the second alcohol shifts to the carbocation, rearranging the compound into a spirobicyclic. Bob's alcohol's lone pair can kick down to form a double bond, and a subsequent depronation from the conjugate base leaves Bob a changed molecule. This rearrangement is interesting, but it's certainly impractical. Selectivity is an obvious issue. If either ring in the previous example had any unique substituents, we would get a mixture of products rather than a single desired product. If we want something a bit more useful, we need to be a bit more creative. This and more are addressed by the next reaction. The semi-pinacle rearrangement is basically what the original pinacle rearrangement wishes it could be. It can do a lot more things with more interesting reagents and has more modern synthetic applications. Semi-pinacle rearrangements employ variable groups vicinal to an alcohol to increase the selectivity of the alkyl shift. The type of variable group defines which type of rearrangement the starting material will undergo. Type 1 rearrangements use improved leaving groups to specify which carbon the alkyl group will shift to and can be done using either acid or base. Type 2 rearrangements use a carbon-carbon double bond and are done using acids or positive ions. Type 4 also use double bonds, but either in the form of a carbonyl or imine, and can also be done using both acid and base. Type 3 rearrangements are a bit more complicated. By employing an epoxide, four general types of rearrangement are possible from this setup, depending on which way the epoxide opens up and whether it acts as a leaving group or not. Exactly which specific type of semi-pinacle rearrangement a molecule will undergo isn't all that important immediately, but knowing which kinds of groups vicinal to an alcohol will induce one is useful when trying to predict products. While we could go through the exact mechanisms for each of the seven different rearrangements, it's more valuable to talk about the big picture. Generally, when using basic conditions, a deprotonation will free up a lone pair that will form the carbonyl, pushing the alkyl group to the adjacent carbon and kicking off the leaving group. In acid, a carbocation will be formed, which induce the alkyl shift and subsequent carbonyl formation. This applies to type 3 rearrangements as well, although these steps will be incorporated as the epoxide ring opening. In the end, while we see that these two reactions are closely related, it's clear that they are differentiated both in the structure of the molecules that undergo them as well as their scope. To recap, the classical pinacle rearrangement is undergone by a molecule containing two vicinal alcohols under acidic conditions. The reaction is generally non-selective, but will produce the most substituted carbon center it can alongside a carbonyl. The semi-pinacle rearrangement uses an alcohol and a variable vicinal group to induce a more selective alkyl shift in carbonyl production under a variety of conditions. The conditions of this rearrangement can be tweaked in order to give a desired structural outcome, unlike the traditional pinacle rearrangement. Here's a practice problem to see if you can differentiate between the pinacle and the semi-pinacle rearrangements. Be sure to keep in mind how the two reactions starting materials are differentiated in structure. Thanks for watching and good luck with Orgo.